Okay, today I'm gonna show you one way to make a tessellation. This is, for me, the easiest way. Um, so you can decide if it's the one you wanna do. For this one, you can use either a square or a rectangle piece of paper. This is actually just a note card. So that will work, and this one is a four by four inch square. Um, I think I'm gonna use the square for mine. And what you do for this is you just draw something on one side starting at the corner so I started at one corner drew a design ended at the other corner and I'm gonna cut that out You can also start on the side if you don't want to start at the corner and this will still work. And don't worry if you don't cut exactly on your pencil line. It would be better for you to just keep going than to go back and try to recut it because we don't want more than one cut line. So now what I do is I just take this and I just slide it straight over to the other side, line it up. If your teacher did a good job cutting your squares for you, it should fit pretty much perfectly. So you're gonna take some tape and line it up as best you can and tape it as best you can so that there's not a space at all. It's okay if it goes over the edge a little bit. What you can do is, if your tape is sticking off a little bit you can just cut it you want to make sure that it's not hanging off anywhere okay then step two is um, you can start either at the top or the bottom and you're just gonna draw again a line going from one corner to the other corner. It can be wavy, zigzag, curvy, however you want to do it. Okay, now what you're going to do with this is you just slide it straight up. Another option would have been to draw your line at the top and scoot it down. So whatever you're doing, you're going from one side to the other and then from up and down. And this should line up on that top edge. Again, I'm just taping. It's okay if it sticks off the edge a bit because I can cut the tape so that it's not a problem. And there should be enough tape to where you can share um, a dispenser with the other friends at your table. getting the extra tape off. Okay, once you have that done, you can go get your paper. I've got a large 12 by 18 piece of paper. I'm gonna decide if I want my tessellation to go this way or this way. And I'm gonna start with just one in the middle 
a little piece of tape in the way here. I'm just gonna cut that off. And I'm gonna trace around it with a pencil. Make sure you do put your name on the back of this paper. Now since we just cut from the top and moved it to the bottom and from the side and moved it to the other side, the way this tessellation is gonna fit together is up and down and side to side. So that means that if I just move my tessellation up, it should fit like a puzzle right there. You need to be real careful to hold this super still And it should also work side to side. So this should fit right in there. Just like this should fit right in here. and the, it should fit underneath as well. So you would trace your tessellation all over your whole paper, okay? 